Welcome back, everyone. From the Nurture here, time for some more Project Zomboid Build 33 New Denver playthrough. Um, so we need to find a place to sleep, I think. Can I take this book? Because um, we're kind of far from home, I think, if memory serves correctly. And it is very... it's getting kind of late. I guess we're not that far from home? I don't know. Maybe the upstairs in this building over here. That'll probably work. Okay, who's making that noise? Oh, it's you. Steve! How's it going, man? Oh, you brought Tommy with you. It's nice to see you guys. Sorry about the zombification. Alright, let's see if we can get in here. Alright, we're just gonna sleep here. As much as I don't really want to do that, because I feel uneasy about it. Let's eat these grapes. They're not gonna last very long. Now that the power's out, we have a sheet. We have a sheet somewhere. Yes, we do. We still have a shovel. Which, if it weren't for the fact that they they break super easy, would be my favorite weapon in the game. It's quick. Does a lot of damage. But they break super easy. Wow, it's you still tired even after you're sleeping all night. Okay. Somebody down here. Alright. I saw something down here I wanted to check out. Oh, there was another survivor house, or ex-survivor house. Some of you guys don't like it when I call them survivor houses because the people are dead. I call them that because they, they were alive. <laughs> Somebody's... Oh, the power isn't out? I thought the power was out. But I have a can opener, right? I mean, I guess it won't hurt to take another one. Garbage bags. I need to start worrying about doing, um... Oh, hello. I need to start worrying about doing some carpentry work and things. Go behind this house in a minute. I don't know if we've been in here or not. I can't tell. I, mean, I haven't found anything that's so amazing that goes, Oh, I obviously haven't been in here. Nope. Alright. Nothing particularly useful. We're on the back of this house to check out these buildings, though. They look potentially useful. Oh, just logs. And over here. Uh, that door is locked. Excuse me, you're making an awful lot of racket. I'd ask you to kindly keep it down. Plank. R radio, school bag. Socks and a school bag. Nothing. Crowbar. We're fine. Alright. Alright, what have we got in food wise? He's getting hungry. Nothing. We got uncooked popcorn. Well, if the power's still on, we might be able to make the popcorn real quick. After we deal with uh, this gentleman. So, yeah, let's see if we can make the popcorn. Oops, that's not the kitchen. Here, what sounded like more than one of you, but I don't see the extras. Popcorn cooks real fast, so there we go. Eh, it adds thirst, whatever. Water's not a problem right now. Oh no. Oh crap. That's the helicopter. Shoots. All right. Can't go home while the helicopter's out and about, or else we'll just bring the zombies to us. 
I, actually, I suppose we could. There's no, um... We have no stairs leading up to our house, so... Might not actually be a terrible solution. Yeah, we're gonna go home. Might have to do some serious cleaning to get the home... Get home safe afterwards, but... I think we can do it. But come on. Yep, we're gonna bring a nice, nice little party to the base of our home. Stupid helicopter! I hate you. I hate you so much, helicopter. I guess that's the point, though, isn't it? Nope, not that. Not what I want. Climb the rope. There we go. Now we're nice and safe for at least a little while. Anything in here still that we can eat quickly? Look at the eggs that we still haven't made. Can we... if we do eggs... plus bowl? Make beans meal. I don't want to make beans. I want to make something with the eggs. I don't know how to make anything with the eggs. But I'm worried about the eggs becoming useless. Frying pan? There we go. Okay, we make a stir fry. From the eggs, apparently. Egg is stir fry. Whatever. Right, let's peek out the windows here while the eggs are cooking. I think they're in the lower level now. Alright, I don't see any zombies out the windows. There's some zombies out those windows. Eh, it's not so bad. Still cooking, okay. Oh, that's got a sheet on the window. Can't see anything out that one. Alright, so jumping out the windows when it's time is going to be just kind of a exercise in, in hope, I guess. <laughs> just do it and hope. That's fine. I can live with that. Got it. Alright, turn off. Can I put this in the bowl now? Put in container, eat, empty frying pan. How do I put it? I thought there was a way to put it in a bowl, but whatever, we'll just eat it off of this. Alright, at least we got to use our eggs. And now we're gonna go to sleep for like a day, like two days. With any luck, the zombies will, you know, disperse a little bit while we're sleeping. I'm just gonna let him sleep until he can't sleep no more. So let's burn a little bit of the middle of the day first. Make sure there's no zombies in the house. Sometimes things glitch a little bit. So the zombie population outside does not actually seem so bad. I'm tempted to go out this window here onto the roof, but I'm also very scared because I'm worried we'll fall and break our legs. We're gonna try it. Okay. Okay, so at least this side of the building is fine. It's good to know for the future. Hmm. 
right, so what do we want to do now? We go to sleep. We can read our cooking book a little bit. Although cooking is almost leveled up already. <laughs> oh, we've got light footed. Blunt blade. I want another level of sprinting. We've got that bandage on forever. Let's take this bandage off. I'm sure that sc scratch is long gone. Yeah. Read. Um, let's read until like five, maybe. All that sound of doors and windows breaking is stressing me out a little bit. All right, that's far enough. Eat this cupcake. Sleep eight hours. We'll sleep until morning. And then we're gonna deal with having to clean the air, the home, the area immediately around our home. Six thirty a.m. Good enough. Actually, can he sleep anymore? No. Okay. Officially done with sleeping for now. All right. So nothing to eat easily. We well, need a bag of chips. Let me get us started for the day. Now we have to start worrying about cleaning around the house. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, there's more of you. Right, at least one of those guys died. Apparently just one of those guys. I got two that time. Alright, you guys are stuck on the fence. Where's the other one? Did I get them both? I think I got them both. Okay. Right, let's go just inside here. So gotta be zombies in here somewhere. You in here? No. Okay. Really? I'm gonna be really surprised there's no zombies in inside this building. All of the windows on that side are broken. Let's deal with these two first. Or fall over? Thank you. There we go. Nobody has anything good for me? No. You guys are destroying the lower level of my house. Do you realize that? You know how hard glass is to come by after the apocalypse has happened? It's not easy, man. Alright. Anybody else down here? No? Maybe I'll in that other around that other way. No? Okay. That's fine. I can I can accept that. Oh, that was a bad swing. <laughs> Alright. Good enough. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's start hitting the trail again. Well, we're going to have little, some zombies to deal with along the way, I'm sure. I wonder if it's cooled off enough that he can put his shirt back on. I want to get our, uh, we'll put it on. I want the good cat, the captain to look like he's actually wearing his Starfleet uniform again. Although that seems to be a darker red than I remember. That's his, um, that's that one that he got later on that was like a jacket that he could unzip. With the gray underneath, that's what this one is. It was a darker gray, a darker red than the other one. Oh, hello. Well, there's more of you than I thought. That was 
skill point. There we go. All right. Five of you. No problem. Oops. Bad swing. No problem. Alright, one, two, three. Not you. Leave me alone. I'm busy. Oh, got a whole group of them coming out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moan, moan. I got it. Coming up from behind here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killed at least one or two of them so far. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Get a little greedy there. Slow and steady, come on. Oh, there's one died. Oh, damn you, crawler. Got lucky that crawler's hit didn't get me. Is it just the crawler left? Whew. That group was a little rough. Seemed to have gotten away with it though, right? Slight damage, no problem. Man. Slowing the whole looting thing down when I gotta deal with all these random zombies. Don't they know I'm low on food? Or at least low on food that I don't have to cook. Oh, and the answer to the question is whether or not we can actually put this shirt on again is no, because he's hot. I'll deal with that in a second, though. Right now I've got some very pushy fans. I know you love Star Trek The Next Generation, I do too, but I gotta expect my boundaries. Alright, let's uh, unequip. Alright, done taking my shirt off. I can deal with you now. We did a sunburn mechanic. Be like a cost benefit analysis to whether or not you want to take your shirt off or not. Those two guys, alright. I kind of want to go a different direction. I think I'm going to go south. We didn't like north. Let's go south. That's yeah, yeah, a pretty big group. Let's just um, let's not deal with those guys right now. They'll lose interest here pretty quickly. Let's see if I can reduce their line of sight on me. Alright, how many are you? Just the two? Fall down. Don't you know how this works, lady? You fall down, I stomp your head in. We go on about our day. Yeah, the group stops. Most of it, anyways. Except for this guy. Pushy as hell. <clears throat> Come on. Let's get in here. Let's see if the door is open. Nope. It does open. Alright, clearly an abandoned house, or not abandoned, but empty. People are moving in or out. Or both. Someone moving out, someone moving in. 
The no kitchen? Is the kitchen upstairs? And the answer is yes, the kitchen is upstairs. Nothing in this house? It's like, I suppose it's realistic in the sense that there wouldn't be anything in a house that had just had people move in and out of. But still, wanted stuff. Alright, let's go out the. Let's check this nest next house over. They're having fun over there on that uh, burnt out house. Come on. Come on, refrigerator, give me something good. Oh, that's not good. That's the opposite of good. That is an alarm. I don't like those. The river should be somewhere near here. I'd like to get into this house so I'm out of the way of any passing zombies seeing me. Ah, sweet. Some food, too. Pistol. Do I have one of those? Well, I do now. Red wine. Make me feel so fine. Oh. That's a very scary yell right then. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's sweet. Um, I'm gonna stop here, I think. As I assess our massive amount of ammo and guns we just found. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.